I think we all know that uh, sound that annoys you while you're working from home. That keeps you awake sometimes during your sleepless nights, makes you sick and also your family vulnerable. Yes, I'm talking about mosquito. Mosquito is a very small, tiny being, but it has become dangerous and deadly to human beings because it transfers vector bone diseases like malaria, dengue, chikungunya, making millions of people sick and more than 7 lakh people dying every year. Even though there has been significant increase in medical care, we are unable to save a lot of lives. Not just lives, it is also putting a huge dent on the finances of people, especially the poor, making the livelihood much, much harder. So this is the case, not just in all over the world, especially in India, especially in the rural regions, you would see a lot of people being affected by mosquitoes leading to diseases. I come from a city of lakes. We have a lot of beautiful lakes. They also unfortunately become the breeding grounds for the mosquitoes. Every year, especially during rainy season, municipality workers work really hard to clean this lake and spray larvicides. As you could see, they work day and night for days and sometimes weeks to clean the lake and spray the larvicides to control the mosquitoes. But still, it's a slow, tedious, and to an extent, sometimes dangerous process because of it being done manually. That is when we thought, being engineers and entrepreneurs, kuch jugaad karte, we'll try to do something. And that is when we came up with a drone which has a 10 liters against some time. That is the sound of the solution that we have discovered. And that is the drone which can solve the problem that you are hearing in the start. So we made a drone with a 10 liters capacity. With the help of municipality workers, you could load the solution into this drone and fly the drone over the lakes and spray the larvicide to control the mosquito breeding. What takes days and weeks could be done in hours. What takes lakhs of money could be done in thousands. And most importantly, it is fast, it is scalable, and it saves a lot of money and it's economical. And as you could see, it could reach to the places which normally humans won't be able to reach and control the breeding 60% better than how it is being done in the manual process. With this product, we do things 10x faster, saves 90% of the cost, and most importantly, we were able to cover huge amount of lakes in a very short time, controlling the mosquito breeding in the city. And like I said, uh, rather than spending five to six lakhs, the government is currently spending only 25,000 rupees per lake in the city of Hyderabad. This was four years back when we were first done our Jugaad. I know a lot of you have seen drone technology, very fast-forward technologies and all, but what we are doing is basically how we can use this technology for impact. After having this small success, well, we came to know about the news. It's about the cancer train and the Evathmal event. What is this cancer train? This is a train that goes from Rajasthan to Punjab, where a lot of farmers travel to forget the treatment of cancer. That is very sad. And we thought, okay, we have built this spraying drone, why don't we use it for spraying? And we started taking the drone to the farmers. That is when we discovered, not just spraying, there are a lot of activities in farming which are very laborious, like transplanting, fertilizer broadcasting. Not just laborious, but also things like spraying are hazardous. Most importantly, what we have found that during the peak seasons of spraying, due to the shortage of the labor, farmers end up not protecting their crop well and losing up to 35% of their produce. On one side, imagine a farmer who has put all his work to grow the crop and suddenly he finds out that the pest has infected. There's panic. There's panic spraying happens. Excessive spraying in some areas and uneven spraying. This leads to increase in the cost of input on one side, and in the end, due to inadequate crop protection, there is low acre, 
low yield per acre. This is not, this is the case all over the India. Then at Maurud we thought, how can we make this world a better place for our farmers? How can we move the laborious and hazardous ways of doing operations in farming to more of a smart farming using technology? That is when we started building smart drones for smarter farming. We have built our first product called AG365. It is smart in its way where the hardware is built in a certain way, like a tractor. The head remains the same, but you can swap the payloads and use it for different operations in the farming. If you are uh, going to uh, do rice crop, then you attach a direct seeding and do direct wet seeding. And then when the crop goes bigger, you could attach a camera and monitor where the pest is infected. And when, when you find where the pest has infected, you change the attachment to spraying tank, spray the pesticide. And when you want to drop fertilizer, you change the payload to fertilizer broadcaster and do the fertilizer broadcast. It's, it's like from seeding to harvest, you can use only one drone for multiple purposes. It's not just the hardware, but also the software has been built to make it smart with intelligence, where it is embedded with all the standard operational procedures, scientific ones, just by a couple of clicks by selecting the crop. The drone will take care of at what height, what pressure, and with what speed they have to spray the chemical. And if you are going for multiple drones, you can manage them as well. It is autonomous, it is customizable, and most importantly, it is scalable. We didn't stop there. Just by giving hardware and software is not enough to let this technology penetrate into the market or to the grassroots level. Training is a priority. People look at drones as aliens sometimes. So, we have taken up the responsibility to establish academy by collaborating with different institutes where we train pilots for license and also train upskill them to operate drones. Not just men, also a lot of women. Recently, 100 plus self-help group women have been graduated from our academies. Recently, government has launched a scheme to give drones to self-help group women wherein they can become independent on their own and use these drones for their livelihood. And we are playing our own fair share in this initiative. So like this, we have, we have understood that you know, the drone should be built as an ecosystem than as just as a product. So overall benefits are very clear. What takes hours to do a task can be done in minutes. And in the end, our research with the universities, has, we have found that there is a decrease in the input cost, but at least by 15%, and increase in the yield at least by 20%. But 80% of farmers in India are small, marginal and semi-marginal farmers, owning less than five acres of land. They won't be able to afford this drone. And even though they do, hardly they'll use it for a day. So it doesn't make any sense. So then we were wondering, how can we take this technology to the grassroots level? That is when we realized the rural entrepreneurs, the youth who wants to do something new, especially in their own village, you know, take the entrepreneurial journey. We could give this drone to them as a service, and they can use the drone as a service, as a profit-making proposition, and provide the drone per acre spraying or per acre broadcasting to the farmers. So Maru gives the drones to the entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs will take the drones and provide it as a service to the farmers. Or from our side, we give the hardware, we give the integrated software and training. Most importantly, we give extended services like warranty support, insurance support, subsidy uh, help, and all these things. Also, whenever we get bulk orders from the corporates or other farmers, we redirect them to these entrepreneurs. So on an average, even they are charging 500 rupees per an acre. An entrepreneur working like, you know, is, will be easily able to spread 10 to 20 acres, depending on the land size and also how they are located. And per year, they'll be easily be able to make 6 lakhs per year. Imagine being in rural, uh, India and making six lakhs. It's a really good amount. Rather than me talking too much, let me show you a story of one of the entrepreneurs. My name is Mohan Ankur Sormale. Gao Chondi Jalgao, Tel Malegao, Dishnashik. I'm from Maharashtra. I was spraying business ke pehle mein khedi kar raha tha. Abhi bhi khedi kar raho. But I have a job in the manual se jo jaise पुरानी अपने पिताजी की जैसे वो करते थे वैसे ही खेती कर रहा था जो मुझे ड्रोन के बारे में पता चला तो वो ड्रोन का भी आगे मैंने बिजनेस उससे साथ चालू किया
ये ड्रोन का जो बिजनेस करने से पहले मैं खेती का जो मुनाफा था उतना ही कमा रहा था जो मुझे खेती मौसम में बदला हो जाने के बाद खेती का नुकसान हो जाता था उसमें कुछ मिलता था कुछ नहीं मिलता था उसी के ऊपर डिपेंड रहता था लेकिन अभी मैं पर डे सात से दस एकड़ तक यानी कि लगभग महीने में पचास से साठ हज़ार तक कमा रहा हो जो मेरा खेती में भी उसका फायदा हुआ और खेती का इसमें भी फायदा हुआ so that's the story of one entrepreneurs like this we have hundreds of entrepreneurs right now who have taken maru drones and providing drone as a service at a very grassroots level by charging the farmers uh, per acre and uh, and you can imagine as this technology spreads how much impact it could have to the for the farmers of our country well this is nice and we at maru thought okay what else we could do then we had a bigger challenge which all over the world we are facing yes i'm talking about climate change and global warming this is a buzzword and it is the reality that we have to face right now why this is happening for major ma different reasons of course carbon footprint has been increasing but most importantly a lot of people are cutting trees and there is a decrease in the green cover and the the, the rate we are cut and the rate at which the trees are growing is completely not in balance this is affecting the wildlife and also this is affecting the lives of a lot of people actually this is happening majorly in countries like china russia and india we are cutting lot more trees than what we are planting of course all of you might have when you are kids or right you might be taking a sampling and planting it for the greater good but that's not enough we have to do this afforestation at a rapid pace at a huge scale that is when again the jugad mindset kicked in for us and we thought of making another drone which has a payload that can take seed balls and fly over the area where we want to do afforestation carpet bomb these seed balls so that later especially before rainy season and when the rain hits the ground these seeds will germinate and become trees so uh, this was a traditional method usually people used to uh, carry seed balls and spread them but with drones you can do it much faster a drone can easily cover 10 hectares to 15 hectares easily and up to 20000 seed balls could be dropped in a day this i am talking only one drone and it can go to places where normally human beings won't be able to go whether it's because it is deserted or because it is highly dense forest where deforestation has happened so now if a single drone can drop 20000 seed balls imagine what multiple drones can do in multiple locations all over india when we started thinking about this we we decided to launch a campaign in this campaign we want to bring together corporate companies with their csr fund ngos with their community connect and our technology and and use this and uh, the community makes the seed balls and with our drones we spread these seed balls all over the area where we want afforestation to happen this campaign we have called harawara we have started it in 2021 the vision and the mission was to plant 1 billion trees by 2030 this was launched in hyderabad years back by uh, our brand man uh, brand ambassador rana dagubati actor you might be knowing him he was fortunate to associate with us and from then starting from telangana where we have dropped more than 50 lakh seed balls we expanded our wings further to arunachal pradesh uttar pradesh andhra pradesh and like this to all other states and we are aiming at 1 billion seed balls to be dropped by end of 2030 one more important thing about this particular initiative it is not just about technology and all it is also community activity where there is a spread of word to increase the green cover in which we call the locals to make the seed balls and especially that is that will be women and for each seed ball we pay some money which is csr funds so there is impact on the environment side and there is impact on the social impact so so far marut through marut zap we have Uh, able to manage more than 180 lakes 
in, in, uh, impacting more than 10 million people. And with seed copter, we, uh, we have so far already dropped one crore seeds and aiming at one billion seeds soon. I know Adani Group has also taken a pledge to plant one trillion trees. And definitely, we can join hands to do something great. Now, I want to talk about one simple thing. I know like a lot of people have seen drones, especially a uh, lot of gentlemen sitting here might have used it for survey, surveillance, um, geomapping, might be used them for cleaning the solar panels. I might, I might not be the one, or we might not be the ones, the best ones to make the drones. There are a million people who can make the drones. But what we have done is, is there any impact on the grassroots level with this technology? And can you play any role in that? And that is where I would call Jugaad, the Bharat innovation we have done, peaks here and there for the drone technology to reach to the grassroots level, have impact in the villages, in the rural areas, is with that vision we are moving forward. So far we have built different kinds of drones, as you have seen some of them, Marut Zap, Seed Copter, and uh, AG365. There's one more drone we have built for uh, medical delivery, to short time, I'm not talking about that. These all are designed and developed in India, Bharat. But unfortunately, not manufactured. That's fine for me, because whether the parts come from China or Korea, as long as it is having an impact in India, especially in rural area, I'm more than happy. And with a team of 94, we are uh, working day and night to take this technology to the grassroots level. Currently, we are doing demonstrations in all gram panchayats of Uttarakhand, Haryana, to take this technology forward. What we envision is, with support from people like you, we can move our Jugaad approach a step further. We could do more R&D, more indigenous manufacturing, and make these drones at an economic scale more affordable and reach this technology to the grassroots level. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Thanks for giving this stage. I thank you.